And staying with that story, a U.S. based biotech company says the first human testing phase of the potential COVID 19 vaccine appears to be safe and is able to stimulate an immune response against the virus. On top of that, more than 100 institutes dotted around the world are also working on their own vaccines. Our Che Jong Yun reports. U.S. biotech company Moderna says there have been some promising early results from its first human test for a potential vaccine for COVID-19. According to Moderna, the vaccine produced virus-fighting antibodies in all 45 participants. Healthy volunteers between the ages of 18 to 55 were separated into three groups, and each received a 25, 100 or 250 microgram dose of the potential vaccine. The results show the levels of antibodies in the participants were similar or greater than those in patients who had recovered from the virus. The vaccine also produced neutralizing antibodies in at least eight participants, which is considered important in acquiring protection. Our anticipation is that it will be in the millions by the end of this year. It could be as high as a billion doses uh, in 2021. Approved by the U.S. FDA last month, Moderna will proceed with the second phase involving 600 people and it expects a third to begin in July if the second phase goes well. It's said that if the vaccine is found to be effective and safe, it could be ready for commercial use in early 2021. Other biotech firms around the world have also started human safety trials. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, eight companies are developing a vaccine based on a new technology. This includes Pfizer's trial involving 360 volunteers across the U.S., and the first subjects have already been injected with a dose. Britain's AstraZeneca will also produce 30 million vaccine doses in the U.K. by September. Biotech companies in South Korea are also accelerating their vaccine and treatment development. A consortium comprised of vaccine research institutes and medicine manufacturing companies has announced it has completed making the technical ingredients for a clinical phase one trial of the drug. Choi Jung-yoon, Arirang News.